Arise, young people. Determine what it is that you want to ensure that you create countries where there is justice, peace, economic development and opportunities and use the power of the vote to elect good men and women and use means which will ensure that there is sustained growth. What we saw during the Arab Spring was a useful thing, but the youth then abandoned it so that it was hijacked by these political mandarins. The lesson to be learned from there is that before you engage in a revolution of any kind, you must always have a shadow cabinet, a shadow government. You must know who is going to occupy what, because if you don't, these mandarins who have been in government for too long, they know how to capture it. And you saw throughout the Arab world, whether it was in Tunisia or Egypt, it is the old ones who ended up being in positions of political leadership. Once the young people have done the heavy lifting, then they told them you have no experience. When you want to serve people with a heart of gold, experience is honesty. In fact, the experience that they talk about is the experience that Africa does not want. But we must wake up Young Africans must ensure that they are not divided along religion, they are not divided along ethnicity, and they must tell these thieves, we don't want your money. It is our money anyway. The day they do that and organize themselves, let me tell you, the youth have the vote. All these octogenarians who don't mean well for the country will be run out of office, but... The young people must always remember that the old people also have a role to play. But they must ask which old people. Within the ranks of the old, old or older people, they are good people. Within the ranks of the younger people, they are also terrible individuals. So it is a mix of ensuring that you have the right people. As they say in Igbo proverb, Igbo of Nigeria, when mother cow is chewing, baby cow watches. And it is that way that baby cow learns. Remember, I'm using the word baby rather than calf deliberately. <laughs>